What's up guys, Sega Superstar here today and I will be reviewing the Dragon Ball Z Resurrection of F Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan uh, Son Goku uh, known, also known as uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku whatever you want to call it so yeah I got this at MCM Comic Con and just had to have him, he looked awesome um, Tamashi Nations was at uh, MCM Comic Con they were displaying all their latest releases and obviously future releases which was a bit annoying because I couldn't buy any of them uh, so yeah, so we're going to do a once over on the box and then we're going to go with the what the figure has to offer. So first of all guys, you can see there you've got um, a little illustration of Goku's face there. Um, let's do a little zoom up here on the box. Got the Resurrection of F logo there on Dragon Ball Z. You've got Tamashi Nations, Bandai. You've got the Toei sticker here. You've got the character's name here. And it says up there, Super Saiyan Go SH Figure Arts. Um, nothing more to offer on the front. On the side is pretty much just nothing. On the side, other side is a little illustration of the figurine. It looks pretty cool. Just showing you the basics of it. Got the name of the character at the top, and that's it on there. On the back has a lot more to offer. Shows you various poses of the character. And also uh, introduces uh, Golden Freeze as well, as if you had both, which I do, you can pose them to give a fight in. And yeah, you also get an extra alternative, normal version, standard Super Saiyan head of Goku. So yeah, simple style and heroic actions. Let me read it back there. This is SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai um, action figure art under the theme, pursuing character expressions through humanoid action which I couldn't agree more so yeah we all know that um, figure art SH figure art figurines Matthew Dragon Ball Z or whatnot are very articulated and they their articulation is crazy so without further ado let's see what the figure looks like out of the box so here, here is the figurine out of the box and I've this is the display I have put them in the pose I've chosen it is sort of a stance ready to fight pretty unique I have when I normally get um, any SH figure arts or any uh, sort of character who do articulations or you know as they say on the side back here gives you like guidelines of how to um, pose them I completely go the opposite and do my own unique pose so it's just the way I am so we'll do a little zoom up here so you guys can see how awesome he is you have to see how very cool he is as you can see I love the taint of Super Saiyan Blue here the colour blue here, it's like a marine blue, it is very beautiful, very nice, nice colour. It is very well done and I love the sculpture on this, it is very well done, I can't believe how nice this looks. Um, I actually want to get the Super Saiyan Goku Awakening version of this uh, figurine series line, I actually want to get him now, I've seen a few reviews on YouTube and I'm actually tempted by him, but time will tell. So yeah, you can see the detail is really awesome. This is a different sculpture from the last uh, sort of Goku figurine that I've got to do a comparison in a second. Pretty much the same size, same height, but yeah. So I'm just got to stop the turntable right there so you guys can have a good look at his face and whatnot. So yeah, well, Tamashii Nations and Bandai have done this. As you can see, it looks pretty awesome. I love everything about this figurine. It is spectacular. I love all the details, all the creases in the clothes. It's so cool. I love these new shoes as well. I love the new design that Goku has. It's very modern, very now, very hip. So yeah. Okay, so you've seen the figure. I will show you the articulation very soon. But first of all, I'm just going to show you guys the little bits that come with it. So as you can see here you have a various amount of different face plates which I will show you now. Zoom in going. So you have like a sort of smirk one at the top there but unfortunately there's no line on the mouth which is kind of weird. You've got him there shouting You've got the alternative Goku head there, which is rather cool. I'm very pleased they added that in there if you don't want the Super Saiyan Blue, if you're not a fan of that. But then if you wasn't a fan, why would you buy this one in the first place? You just have a few different um, 
hands here, you have open, closed, or clutched, and you have like open palm, fighting stance, and you've got a clenched one here. So yeah, pretty good um, accessories. Also comes with, I mean if you're not very familiar with the figure line, figure line series, it comes with a manual as well if you don't know how to assemble and whatnot or whatever, take the head off and the hair, you get a guide of it so you shouldn't be too um, lost there. So right, next thing we'll do is articulation. So what I've noticed now, I've, I've been a fan and I've bought the old, like the very old models of the um, SH figure art line and I've got to admit they are improving vastly and I'm very pleased with that I'm, I'm glad they're not just settling for the same thing um, so let's uh, get this in focus you guys can see so yeah um, the articulation will start from the bottom work way to the top you have a pivot on the ankle and you get the toes bend as well um, this the part of here top of the boot doesn't move Bends here on the knee. Very good. Now I've noticed that these figures are kind of stiff. I don't know if that's new or not. So yeah. As you can see, the wrists bend, the elbows bend, um, the legs do pop out, which is an old style. But I've heard that the Goku Awakening doesn't do that. So I'm very interested to see what the uh, what their design has been incorporated into that. Of course you've got splits, he does the splits, push his leg back in now because he's going to be too flexible. Got the pivot on the uh, crunch, ab crunch, really can't see it, I need to close though. Um, yeah, his head does a 360, his neck moves, so yeah, he is really good, his articulation is spectacular. And the thing is, what I love about this figure is it actually stands up really well. You don't really have to struggle to keep him up. So yeah. Well guys, that's it for the review. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this figure down below and in the comments. And please let me know if you intend to buy this figure as well. And uh, yeah, please give me a thumbs up if you like this review and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support and feedback. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a few things about this figurine if you want to get it or not. I highly recommend it. It's a gorgeous figure. I'll give this figure 10 out of 10 for articulation and about 9 out of 10 for design and colour. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Take care and see you soon for more videos and reviews.